You're not helping me look for it. All you're doing is playing with Mila. It's completely tragic. This is what it looks like with all the products in it. I'm wearing my girdle slash my corset. So, hey, how are you guys doing? Good morning. I've missed you guys. I just woke up and I have this little munchkin drinking milk next to me. You know, when you become a, a parent for the second time, you find the easy way out in things and just have a blanket hold the milk for you. Um, and um, I just heard my other little munchkin that's up. So walk with me, you guys. See what she's doing. Good morning, Samara. Hi. <laughs> How did you sleep, mama? How'd you sleep? Okay, mommy, get you up. You want mommy to pick you up? Yes? Are you upset because you can't find your bobo? You should be upset because you have all that mess on the floor. That's why you should be upset. What are you doing, bobo? Bobo! Where is it? Where's the bobo? Maybe if you don't have such a mess, <laughs> such a mess, you will find it. Mommy help you find bobo, okay? Mommy help you. Mommy help you find the bobo. Uh, did you put it in here? No, it's not in here. Did you? Guys, do you see the bobo? I feel like I'm in like Blue's Clues. Do you guys know where the bobo is at or Dora the Explorer? Imagine like you guys are seeing it and I have no idea where it is. You're not helping me look for it. All you're doing is playing with Mila. Hi, Mila. <laughs> The afternoon already and I'm still looking a hot mess I have to shower <sighs> the reason I haven't showered yet though is because I'm planning to do my curly hair routine because I'm gonna wash my hair but I have two kids here and I'm alone and so I need to figure out a time that they'll both behave while I do that um, Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things um, in the live stream I said that um i was going to have a meet and greet in october but honestly you guys i do not know when i would be able to have it because it would have to be a saturday because sunday i have church and I, it's like all my saturdays i have events my best friend's birthday is coming up dominic has tough mother this saturday so it's like so right. crazy you saying hi to everybody say hi to everyone oh look look at that mommy gave you a new bobo this is the the cheap one that if we can't find all her other 10 ones we just give her that one what yeah um <clears throat> so i don't know but talking about that you guys you guys i have a story to tell you i met one of my subscribers um, when I was on my way to work. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you the story. So basically, um, I was, um, on my way to work and then I had my headphones on and in my peripheral vision, I see that someone's trying to get my attention. Um, but I wasn't too sure. And on top of that, I work in New York city and there's a lot of, um, crazies in this world you guys already know that um and so i try not to stop with everyone that's trying to get my attention because you just never know 
But then all of a sudden this person like came in front of me, you know, so I took off my headphones and then she goes Are you Joanna? And I say and I said yes, I am and she's like, oh my god I love you. I watch you on YouTube. I guess she noticed who I was like the side of my face Oh my gosh, you guys she was the sweetest woman Ever ever if you're watching you were so sweet so sweet and guys she gave me the best hug ever you know how there's some people who give great hugs well she was one of them like her hugs were the best hugs ever like oh my god it just warmed my heart finally meeting someone actually this is the second time that i met someone who watches my videos and she was so excited and i was like so excited as well I was so excited to meet her you know in person because you guys see me all the time and that's why I want to have a meet and greet because I want to meet all of you in person so I'm gonna enter the clip over here I hope you don't mind so I met one of my subscribers Hi. <laughs> this is so exciting we are oh both God. excited so that's what it was you guys she was so sweet Oh my god, I completely loved you. I hope to meet you again one day. Um, it was awesome. And so, anyways, I was telling my best friend that story. And she was like, it's so amazing how you make people happy. Like, you know, just... You know, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not... I'm not anyone like you know that anyone should freak out over you know I'm just me and I make these YouTube videos to make at least a little difference in this world and it really does warm my heart that people get excited um, to, to just see me or to even see my videos and you know you guys I just saw a call a couple of minutes ago where it said I'm going to spend the rest of my life making people feel less broken and um woo, i was about to get emotional when i just said that Whew, let me bring it back in let me reason why i was gonna get emotional is because of um next subject i want to talk to you about is vegas and um so you guys saw everything that's been going on in vegas and um it's completely tragic you know um you never wake up thinking it's gonna be your last day on this earth, you know? Um, your family never wakes up thinking this is the last day they're going to speak to you. And um, my heart and my prayers go out to everyone who was affected in Vegas. Not only Vegas, but everyone, you know, in Puerto Rico that's going through, you know, this natural disaster. And it's just in the Caribbean. Um, you know just everyone you know everyone um here in the united states the hurricane also affected people in the united states and it's just it's been so tragic it's been the past these past couple of weeks have been tragic for the world um and just seeing this vegas you know you guys know i was in vegas like in in when was in july i was in vegas and um i was in exactly that same area the mandalay bay and um just just to think you know these people were just out there listening to music and um and some lunatic decided to take their lives and um and just as you hear the names you know in the media who these people were um it just makes it even more sad and um you know we have to be the light in the midst of the darkness in these troubled times and it may seem um ellen DeGeneres actually said it she said it may seem like there's more evil than good in this world but that she refuses to believe that and i am with her on that i refuse to believe there's more evil in this world um and we can all make a difference every day the way we live how we are uh you know how we treat other people and um you know i had a conversation yesterday with dominic and i told him if we were in that scenario because you would never think that you're in that scenario what happened in vegas what would like would you would you save a stranger like a complete first i asked if he would save me and he said of course i would save you like i would shield you and then i said what if it was a complete stranger and he said i would do it for anyone that seems helpless that seems afraid you know and i was like you know like for cops you hear a lot 
um, where they say I need to make it back home to my family like that is my goal by the end of the day to make it back home to my family so I asked him even though it's a different situation like is that would that go through your mind like I need to make it back home to my family and he said um, yes and no because at that time yeah of course I would think about you guys but I also would think about all those other people you know and I know if something ever happened to me, you guys would be okay. So, um, and I got so emotional when he said that. I'm getting so emotional now. <laughs> what is wrong with me? These hormones. <laughs> um, no, I'm not pregnant. Um, but literally, I started crying when he said that. I started crying because you never know, you know. And these conversations are very tough. They're very tough to have, but um, you just never know. And um, I hope God always protects me and my family. <sighs> Continue to have all those families in your prayer and my family in your prayers. May, may God always cover us everywhere we go. And may he send his angels with us everywhere we go. And yeah, right? Because we do it all for them. So now let's go to my curly hair routine. So I'm currently in my bathroom and I'm about to wash my hair. So I'm about to look like a completely different person. So I'm going to untangle my hair before I go into the bathroom. That way it's not like super tangled. Like you guys know, I've been having a lot of hair fallout um, because of, well, postpartum hair fallout because of the birth. So a lot of my hair has been falling off like my, I'm like bald you guys could see right here like in the front part um, But it's growing out now, and I think like less hair is coming out. I think I'm not sure my hair is thinning out so Anyway, so this is how much hair came out. This may be disgusting, but usually it's a whole lot more than that so I definitely feel like it's coming out a lot less so what i wash my hair with is the and i've showed you guys before it's the shea moisture shampoo is this one i don't have anything negative or anything super positive to say it's like just okay um i don't think i've have found a shampoo that i absolutely love but the next step is um a uh, treatment so this is a deep conditioner you're only supposed to put it once a week but i'm so extra and sometimes i do it twice a week you guys this this you guys is so awesome and i was recommended it was recommended to me from a friend and it's not even expensive you guys like if you need moisture in your hair if you have dry hair this is thebomb.com like i just aged myself saying that i decided to get the big bottle of conditioner from the aussie aussie i hope i'm saying that right line um because i love the moisture that it gave me and i need like a big thing of conditioner because i have a lot of hair and i go through conditioner so fast so this is okay it's not amazing it's not as amazing as this like this is super amazing this i like it you know it's not super amazing but it gets the job done and it makes my hair feel soft i'll come back with my curly hair routine so i'm out of the shower and my hair is currently up in a bun mila is currently down here down here over here going a little crazy so i'm sorry if you hear the water running because the water running suits her um and she's also drinking her milk but anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to wet my hair a little bit more so it has that damp feel. Because if you guys don't know, if your hair is really damp when you put the product in, you won't your hair won't get frizzy. Also, if you hair dry, if you air dry it, your hair will get less frizzy, which is one of the reasons why I air dry my hair. Also because it was summer in the winter, I don't air dry my hair cuz it's super cold. By the way, this is regular water in here. Um, this was a product that I ended up like really hating. I don't know Maybe one of you guys like this, but I really hated this you guys Like it was it's supposed to be for refreshing your curls. So like for second day third day hair 
and I think it just smelled way too strong and it did nothing for my hair. This is the only new thing that I'm gonna try out in this routine. It's the moisture seal. Locks in moisture to mi and minimizes frizz. So we're gonna put this all over our hair. I'm very generous when it comes to products, which is why I run out of them. And usually, I flip over my hair so I'm able to get the back part and all that. So. So I'm going to put, put more of that in my hand. The first thing I always put in my hair, because like, like I told you, that, that's something new that I'm trying out. So the first thing that I put in my hair is this Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. This is so bomb, you guys. I don't know how many of these. I'm waiting for it to focus. I don't know how many of these I have gone through, but this makes my hair, my hair feel super soft. Super moisturized, so um, I put a lot. Like I told you, I'm super generous. This is a lot. So I put that everywhere back from root to end. I run my fingers through my hair to detangle it again with that product in it. By the way, when I wash my hair, I detangle my hair with my fingers. To avoid even more breakage all right you guys so this is the key to my hair um, being tamed because um, I have I don't have like loose curls I have very tight curls um, and so I need something that's going to hold my hair and what I use who, which hasn't failed me since I've been using it is this kinky curly custard okay now you guys this is on the pricey side um, pricey meaning $18 um, at the drugstore so that's pricey for a gel but you guys it works it works you know like it works for my hair I think it's worth the money it smells delicious um, and this is basically and like a little goes a long way you guys like I know I'm generous with my products but this is expensive like you know this is what the inside looks like it's not like it, it's not like a gel like well like it says it's a custard so what I do is I make sure I get it in here this area because this is the area that is visible to everyone you know the front section of your hair so i run my fingers through my hair with it take a little bit more and i do it to this side one more time i flip my hair and I distribute it all over the rest while I scrunch. Mila, what are you doing, Mamacita? Once I do that, I put a little bit of this Pillow Soft Curl by Miss Jessie. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, this gel does make it hard, you know, not gel, custard, makes it feel hard, but once you crunch, once you scrunch it out, when it dries, it'll be perfectly fine, but this is supposed to make your hair, like, feel super soft and not have that scrunchy, like, that crunchy feel, and so, you guys, this literally smells like laundry. When you finish doing your laundry, that's what it smells like. basically just let my hair air dry so this is what it looks like with all the products in it and I will let you guys know what it looks like as soon as it air dries see you then hey guys I am back and my hair is still drying it's not fully dry yet but as you can see um, it's getting there so it's kind of dry there is the texture of my hair. Let me go in closer. And that is it. And then when it's drying like this, I just keep um, scrunching it. 
and throughout the day it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger you guys have seen in my vlogs how big my hair can get um, so yeah throughout the day it gets bigger because I touch it and then or like I lay on it and like stuff like that and then so that's pretty much it you guys there is nothing more to my curly hair routine um, it's pretty simple um, something I want to cut back on is straightening my hair. I actually do not, I used to straighten my hair every week and I haven't done that in like months. Um, but I'm definitely not going to straighten my hair again until I'd say probably the holidays, if that, who knows. Um, because every time I do straighten my hair, I do notice that I get some straight pieces. You see like this right here it's not completely curled um and so yeah every time i straighten my hair that happens and that's why people say you shouldn't strain your hair if you're trying to become natural because that will happen don't let anyone tell you otherwise obviously you can straighten your hair but you obviously have to take the proper precautions like heat protectant and all that stuff because then girlfriend your hair is gonna be a complete mess so i'm gonna try to cut back on it i'm gonna let it dry even more but anyway so i wanted to talk to you guys really quickly also about this i'm wearing my girdle slash my corset so this is what i'm wearing it's from from bell fit i hope i hope it's not belly fit but maybe it's either bell fit or belly fit um this so far has been awesome you guys when i had samara someone advised me you need to put a one on as soon as you get out of the hospital don't play with that because then you're gonna get like a little pouch or whatever and i didn't listen and i actually did snap back pretty quickly from samara but with mila even though i i am slim and i did pretty much slap Best. and I pretty much slapped back and I pretty much snapped back I do have a bit of a belly so I'm trying to get rid of that I'm pretty sure if I would have worn one of these right after I got out of the hospital um, I wouldn't have this problem right now so I'll let you know how it goes I'm definitely going to see what the results are after a month I've heard nothing but wonderful things um this is not sponsored you guys not sponsored um but i do have a coupon code for you guys if you guys would like i'm gonna put it below um and you guys can go on their website and check out you know on the box right now um it says used for recovery and treatment of c-section hysterectomy natural birth tummy tuck diastasis recti and abdominal surgery and it says fda registered medical device and so it has the closures you guys see here hold on let me stand up Ugh. so it has the closures where you like pin it and you know it sucks and it actually helps with your posture because i have a horrible posture i have a horrible posture for you guys here i am hanging out with my girls hi girls Hi, my girls. Hi, good boy. Hi, my girls. <gasps> what are you doing? You guys, ready? You guys see this? <laughs> Samara, what letter is this? W. W. Yeah, 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 yeah. High five. High five. Comment of the day is from Rosie Mar Martinez Coto. She said, Mujer de Dios, that means woman of God. You truly look like a model. Can we say gorgeous? God bless you and your beautiful familia. Thank you. One of the reasons I chose that comment was because, you know, it was uh, in Spanish, some of the words. Um, and it was just a pleasure to see, not because you said I look beautiful, but thank you very much. I got a lot of comments that I looked very beautiful for the wedding. Guys, I loved that red dress. You guys, I know I'm going, the next video I'm going to tell you guys where I got my birthday dress and that dress, same place, but I actually want to take my time on telling you guys about this. So I will do it in the next video. 
um i had it was such a beautiful wedding such a great time <sighs> weddings anyway so i hear mila crying let me go get her and mila is here with me hi mila can you guys believe that mila is five months you guys five months you're five months why are you five months why are you so big she's looking at the tv she is five months you guys look at her look how big look how big this little girl is look 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 mm. mila you want to say hi to everyone No, what do you have under your eye? What do you have right here? <laughs> here you go. Sorry. Alright, you guys. So, I think that's it. So, I could get this, you know, vlog up. So, anyway. As always, we love you. We adore you. And I'll see you on Monday. No, I really will see you on Monday. Bye.